action. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a prom inspired Instagram baddie date night look, whatever you want to call it, on my beautiful model Oriane. I'm going to start first with the brows and I'm going to use Max Spike eyebrow pencil and stud eyebrow pencil just on the end to make it a little bit darker. Under the brows, I'm going to use Studio Finish Concealer to create that really defined Instagram brow look. So this is going to be a full coverage look guys, so do bear in mind that you may need to alter it for yourselves if you want something that's going to be of a lighter coverage. I wanna hold on to you Girls and be you and I just wanna see you Just hear me out So now I'm gonna be using the Morphe 350 palette in the crease to create that reddish kind of transition colour before I add in any dark colours I'm also gonna use a pink colour that I've got the name by Mac but I will put it in the description for you guys Now I'm gonna use my Copper Spice Pop palette from Morphe and add in those darker brown and purple colours I'm also gonna be using Fig by Mac which is a purple colour to create that really, really nice green yeah, 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 so I just wanna put my arms around you and hold you and hold you so I added a little bit of black in there as well just to create some depth yeah, So I put on Max Paint Pot in Laying Low on her eyes and now I'm setting it with some eyeshadows from the Copper Spice palette. After this I'm going to put on a pigment that I got from Mac that I absolutely love and it is in Rose Gold. It's really really nice to put to that one. You can have these colours on your eye and make them subtle and you can have them and make them pop so it's all about placement and how you do this. Add in a little bit more of the darker colours in there for some more depth and to make sure that that's blended correctly and here we are with the rose gold love this I've also sprayed um, Fix Plus on my brush to make sure that it sticks to the eye and it's a bit wet and doesn't drop down too much again going back in there with my darker colours to create a more seamless blend because I don't like anything that's too too harsh with the lines yeah so I've already applied the foundation off camera and now I'm going to go in with MAC Studio um, Finish Concealer. I think this is in NW45, I also added a little bit of NC45 in there, a tiny bit to make that colour pop and I'm going to blend it out with my 217 MAC brush. Adding my Ben Nye Topaz powder and banana powder mixed together for an under eye set. Add a little bit more after. Obviously, we're having a great time, that's the reason why she's talking so much. <laughs> so, now I'm going to contour the side of her face with Ben Nye's um, cream shadow in rich brown. I absolutely love this stuff. Because we have um, a deep skin tone here as well, I'm also going to add the Max Studio Finish Powder in NW58 as well, which is exactly the same as I do on myself. Highlighter is Cheeky Bronze from MAC, I absolutely love this. And the blusher is Raisin, again, you would have seen me with these things, these staple products for darker skin from MAC. I'm going to apply the lashes and liner off camera and I'm going to use Max Charged Water Mist all over her face to hydrate and give the skin a really, really, really beautiful glow. Absolutely love this stuff. I'm also going to use Bread Nice Spray Final Seal to give it that final seal. It will mattify the face a little bit more but it also holds into the makeup for a lot longer. Damn girl! Oh! Oh! Yes! Play, honey! <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please check out my Instagram, Brown Sugar Anyway. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you.